Hello everyone, this is our 31st video tutorial under the GCSE Topic Revision Guide called 3D Trigonometry. Uh, this is a kind of a continuation video from our previous video tutorial 30, which is 2D Trigonometry. So if you um, missed that tutorial, I would recommend to follow the techniques and the theory we discussed on that video about so called Toa rule, sine, cosine, tan angle, how to find out the angles and in a 2D plane in that video tutorial you can see the links below in the description. Please follow the 2D trigonometry theory and the questions once you're familiar with the basic techniques and you can continue this tutorial. Um, in this topic there's no theory, uh, special theory um, on this uh, topic. But you only need to be familiar with the Sokatova rule, sine, cosine, and tan. But only problem I would advise this topic is categorized as a level 8, 9 topic. The reason why it's a, a 5 to 6 mark question uh, because of the visualization. Uh, many people uh, can't have the ability to visualize um, a 3D object and the uh, angle between the plates and things like that. It's a little bit hard to visualize. Once you've got the topic in your head, how to find the angle between planes and line and a plane, then this is very easy. So there's no theory. We will discuss each and every questions carefully and uh, you can get the topic from there. Let's look at some exam style questions. Hi, um, this is the tutorial we are going to discuss in the video tutorial. You can download this tutorial from our website at www.smart-tutors.co.uk forward slash worksheet.php or follow the link in the description uh, to get the tutorial. Under the year 11 section, you can download the tutorials. Let's look at some questions now. So question number one. The diagram shows a prism, a triangle PQR is a cross section of the prism. Uh, PR is given, MP is given, angle PRQ, PRQ. So basically, this angle PRQ is 30 degrees is given, angle PQR is 90 degrees. Calculate the size of the angle, the line MR makes with the plane RQLN. RQLN is the base, the bottom base. That base and the line MR, the angle. So what we want to do is, so let's draw a triangle and show you. They are asking, I'm just connecting this line with R and I'm connecting this one with so now, if you understand, the plane is the bottom plane, is R, Q, L, N is the bottom base and L, R is on that plane, right? Now the question is, the line M, R and the plane, bottom plane, the angle between the line M, R and the bottom plane. All what you want to do is you need to look for the M and drop a perpendicular line which is ML and find out where is the other end of the M which is the R and connect those two points that is going to be a right angle triangle. So this is the angle they are uh, looking for. So if I put this as an X and we need to find out the angle X that's all right. So now, in order to find out the angle, right, in order to find out the angle, you need two sides, either this one or that one or that one, right? So if you look at this triangle, so this is a right angle triangle. So if I mark this one as a D, right, so let me draw a triangle then easy to understand. So. So if I move this triangle from right here, let's undo this one. 
and we draw the triangle again and make sure we understand so if I mark this diagram as this is 12 and this is 20 and this is the D so basically what I did is I just draw the uh, 2D triangle separately so make sure you understand that we can use the Pythagoras theorem so D square equal 20 square plus 12 square so D equal square root of 20 square plus 12 square so we can get the answer um, so what we are going to do is um, square root of 20 square plus 12 square and the answer is 4 root 34 so I better keep it in a third form 4 root 34 so 4 root 34 so 4 square root 34 that is the distance of D now we need another side right so if you look at this triangle right so if I draw a, a triangle like that and now this is the 30 degrees and this is 20 centimeter and this is P this is Q and this is R and if I mark this as uh, let's say uh, Y so by using the 2D trigonometry this 30 degrees this is the opposite side O and this 20 is going to be my hypotenuse side O and H in so Kartova rule so Ka Toa O and H is connected so sine so I'm going to do the sine 30 equal O over H so sine 30 opposite is PQ H is 20 sine 30 is half so half equal PQ over 20 so if you cross multiply 2 PQ 2 PQ equal 20 PQ equal 10 so PQ equal 10 so I'm going to mark this as a 10 centimeter if this is 10 centimeter this also 10 centimeter right now I can draw the red triangle so we draw the red, red triangle let's do the proper uh, triangle then easy to understand um, right that is the triangle and let's change it to blue color and this is the angle in question x and the opposite side is 10 and this is a right angle triangle so this is o and the d is 4 root 34 we all know that is opposite to the 90 degrees which is hypotenuse side so again this x is opposite side and hypotenuse side our equation is sine so sine x equal opposite is 10 over 4 root 34 and that is the answer x equal sine inverse of 10 over 4 root 34 and x equal x equal so let me put this one and we're going to use the shift and sine which is sine inverse and fraction is 10 and 4 root 34 and bracket close and answer 25.38 so they're asking for one decimal place 25.4 so the answer is 25.4 degrees so that is the answer for the question question number two the diagram shows a triangular prism with a horizontal rectangular base ABCD 
A B is given 10, B C where is the BC? BC is 7 cm and M is the midpoint. So M is the midpoint 5 means this is 3.5. This is 3.5. That is the information mark here 7. The vertex T is vertically above the M. That is correct. So now I'm going to use the let's use the red color so it stand out more. Calculate the size of the angle TB making with ABCD, the bottom bits. So TB, so TB means from here, this is the TB. So how to do the TB? So first of all, I told you from the one end is the perpendicular for the base. And from that line, you connect the P. So basically what they are asking is the angle between the TB and this angle. So let me put it as a theta. And this is the right angle triangle. Right? So all what we want to do is we need to find out the, let's say if I put D as this one, this is the right angle triangle. So D square equal, D square equal 3.5 square plus 10 square so d equal square root of 3.5 square plus 10 square so that is the answer for the d so let me quickly use the calculator um, so let's make it zero square root of careful 3.5 square plus 10 square equal so that is the answer i'm not going to be using the decimal answer i will keep this as a root 449 over 2 so root 449 over 2 the reason why i'm not making as a round up uh, figure here so if you make an error here round up to first decimal or something so that error will carry on doing the the second part question so keep as much as possible in a third format that at the last stage we can approximate to one decimal place so d is now known so if i'm drawing the um, triangle so let's draw a, a 3d uh, sorry 2d uh, triangle in the 2d triangle this is theta and uh, this is six centimeter and just now I found this is 449 over 2. Right now we need to find out this is the opposite and this is the adjacent. So opposite over adjacent is tan. So tan theta tan theta equal 6 over root 4 4 9 over 2 so theta equal tan inverse of tan inverse of uh, 6 upon root 4 4 9 over 2 so that is the answer you can round up to um, one decimal place let me show you a tricky way how to do this question quickly uh, so you have the calculator, the answer is automatically saved in the answer button. So the last answer is the root 449 by 2. So press the AC, the computer still remember, if I, if I press the answer and equal, that is the answer. So the computer still remember the last answer. So all what you will do is shift and tan inverse. You can call the fraction button. 6 is on the top and you can press the answer and put the brackets then enter 29.5 is the answer so 29.5 answer instead of you writing that root 449 this is the accurate answer because we never round up here we kept that in the third form and finally we round up to one decimal place that is our final answer for question number two. Question number three. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H is a cuboid. Find the length of BD. 
So PD is the diagonal length. So if I am drawing a line, PD is the diagonal length. So it's crystal clear. We have done um, what's that called? 2D Pythagoras theorem. So a couple of tutorials ago, I'm not too sure what is the tutorial number. Please look at the description. There is everything listed there. If you have any problem with the 2D Pythagoras or 3D Pythagoras, there's a tutorial there. So get familiar with that one. This is same as that. So here, 90 degrees is here. This is 8 means this is 8. And this is D. Right? So D squared equal 8 squared plus 20 squared. And D equal square root of 8 squared plus 20 squared and uh, let's put that in the calculator and get some answer square root of 8 squared plus 20 squared and the answer is 4 root 29 so 4 root 29 right now find the length of FD so length of FD means here is F here is D so that is the length we need to find out how to find out the length is the easiest way is this is 9 that is going to be 9 and the D we already know and we can find out the FD let's say I put X as the FD, FD. So x squared equal 9 squared plus d squared. So x equal square root of 9 squared plus d squared. So 4 root 29 whole thing squared. So x equal, um, so let me quickly do a 81 plus 16 times 29 right so now answer is um, so make it 0 and square root of 81 plus 16 times 29 so that is the answer square root of 545. So, 545. So, I will keep that as a third form square root of 545. Right? So, that is the length of FD. So, FD is square root of 545, and that is the answer for the B part. The answer for A part is BD is 4 root 29. And now find the angle between the FD and the plane ABCD. FD and the plane ABCD means this is the angle. So that angle, what we can do? We can do various ways, right? So bas basically, if we draw the diagram, um, what's that called? A triangle, uh, you have some idea. So if I put this one, uh, D is this is 4 root 29 and this is 9 and this is root 545 and that is the theta so this is opposite and this is adjacent so tan theta is opposite over adjacent opposite is 9 over 4 root 29 so theta equal tan inverse of 9 over 4 root 29 so theta equal so let's take my calculator and uh, so I'll put it here just to quickly drop it out this one shift um, what's that? Chief tan, right? So tan inverse and fractional button 9 over 4 root 29 
and come out, come out, bracket close, and tan inverse of that is 22.7. Um, 20, sorry, I forgot the answer. 22.7. So 22.7. So 22.7 degrees to one decimal place. So that is the answer for the question number C, 3C. Let's, let's move to the question number 4. In the cuboid, find the angle between the line AG, line AG, so roughly we need to know where is the AG. Yes, that is the AG. So let me change the color to red color. So this is the AG, sorry, blue color. So let me darken the line. So this is the AG and the plane ABCD. Uh, a, B, C, D. So, A, B, C, D is where? A, B, C, D is the that green color shaded area. So, how can we do that one? Answer to the nearest degree. So, first of all, they have given a clue. The dotted line is already marked there. And uh, this is the other line. And that's more than enough, right? The angle they are asking is this is the angle. So the theta is the angle they are asking because that is the AG is making the so from the A to G means you need to prop, uh, drop a perpendicular line to that one. So that is the 90 degrees. And uh, the AC representing the plane. So the plane and the line, that is the line. So angle C, A, G is the angle in question. Right, now we need to make a plan how to find out that angle. The rule is we need to have a minimum two sides. The easiest way to do is this is 7.6, means the bottom this also 7.6. If this is 7.6, this is 7.6. Right, and now this is 7.1, so this is 7.1, and this is right angle. So we can, so let's say if I put x of this one, so AC, let AC equal x, right? So x squared equal 7.1 squared plus 12.5 squared. So x equal square root of 7.1 square plus 12.5 square, right? So that is equal to, so ac, so square root of 7.1 square plus 12.5 square equal 14.38 so i'm going to keep that answer a little bit longer i mean keep the couple of decimals more um so what i'm going to do is 14.3756 14.3756 so that is the answer for the um x which is the ac now if i draw the triangle let's say if i put it this way right and mark what you know so if i say this one this is the right angle triangle and this is 7.6 and uh, this is 14.3756 in my calculator that is saved in the answer button and now the angle in question is theta so tan theta equal opposite over adjacent so 7.6 over 14.3756 so that is tan theta so theta equal tan inverse 7.6 divided by i can say answer because the calculator remember the last answer 
and give the answer in a accurate um, uh, format. So let's uh, call the calculator scientific calculators. Let's um, put every value here. So shift and tan and uh, I think like I closed the calculator so the memory is lost. So I need to type it uh, a couple of decimals. It's going to be um, not that far off from the actual answer. Three, seven, five, six. That is not that close. And uh, it is 27.6 over five. I think that's right. 27.8, but they are asking nearest degree. So 28 degrees. So 20. Eight degrees. That is the answer for the question number four. Question number five in the square base pyramid, find the angle between the plate ABB. So ABB is the, the light green plane. ABCD is the bottom plane. Answer to the nearest degree. So ABB and ABCD. So first of all, you need to find out what angle you need to find out. So let's say, let me, let me, um, if I turn this um, square base pyramid a little bit this way, if I turn the, this is a three dimensional, this is the only reason I told you at the early part of the tutorial, the visualization of the 3D trigonometry object is a little bit harder because trying to visualize how the angle comes, right? Now, the way the square base pyramid is now located is hard to visualize. In order to explain in purpose, I'm going to be turning this square base pyramid, um, say clockwise, right? Um, let's um, show this one what's going on. Right, so let's draw a, a square. Right, and uh, I'm going to use the straight lines here. So, right, I am not going to be drawing the other uh, lines because the other line is going to become one of the lines comes here and other lines coming like that. So, but I'm not drawing that one, I undo that one. So, we don't want that one. Now, what they're asking is. The angle between one of the side planes, so this is the side plane, and this, the base plane. So they are asking basically, this is the angle they are asking. This is the angle theta is the asking, right? That is the theta. Let me help you to draw that one in the actual diagram so we can visualize what's happening. So if I go to the middle of the AB, and connect the middle to the E, right? And that is the angle they are asking. So if I say theta, this is the theta in question. This is the theta in question. And this is 90 degrees, right? And uh, now what we are going to do is, let me help you to mark this one, then we can easily visualize AB. And I'm going to put this as a, the, the middle point as a midpoint M and straight away this point as an E and uh, and uh, this is 90 degrees right and uh, that is B right and now we know this square base pyramid is 11.5 so this is 11.5 by 2 this is 11.5 by 2, right? I don't know whether we need that one or not, right? Um, maybe, yes. So this one is 11.5 by 2. Now, the side length is given. So one of the side length is 13.3. So now we have another work to do. So I need a a triangle again another triangle uh, so that is not that triangle so just undo that and I'm going to draw so this triangle
let's the reason why I'm drawing the diagrams to make sure you understand um, this triangle I'm going to draw it separately here so basically this is B A B the slanted triangle I'm drawing it nicely so now 13.3 is here and this is the right angle triangle and this is 11.5 over 2 this is right angle triangle using our Pythagoras theorem and you can find out the x so what is x x squared equal 13.3 square minus 11.5 by 2 whole thing square and x is going to be square root of that much right so let's use the calculator to find out that answer first then it's easy to continue the question so square root of 13.3 square minus bracket 11.5 divided by 2 and bracket close and square so that answer is 11.9928 11.9928 so the whatever the answer is coming here so the x equal 11.9928 is a centimeter that is this perpendicular height now i'm going to draw another triangle so to make sure that may be understood very nicely so this is the the triangle in the middle plane so here so this is the right angle which is here i mark this as a theta and this is 11.5 over 2 and this side is 11.9928 and this is the theta right and now uh, this cos theta the next to the cos theta is the adjacent so this is adjacent this is hypotenuse so what's going to be happen so cos theta equal adjacent over hypotenuse so adjacent is what 11.5 over 2 divided by 11.9928 is the then so theta equal cos inverse 11.52 over 11.9928 so that is the calculation so let's use the calculator shift and cost inverse 11.11.5 um, divided by 2 so the calculator will do the question don't need to worry about it so 11. Uh, 928 so that pretty okay, close and that is the answer 61.35 degrees so theta equal 61.35 sorry I forgot the answer uh, 35 or yeah 35 degrees and nearest to degrees so 61 degrees so this is nearest to 61 degrees that is the answer question number six for the dough wedge shape triangular prism um, calculate the length of the diagonal pt so first of all i need to draw the diagonal pt so that is the diagonal pt and uh, now so if you want the length i'm going to be constructing a right angle triangle immediately so that is the right angle triangle from the PTR so PTR right okay so now this is right angle triangle um, you have 3.8 here and uh, what we can do so this is the question so D is the question right if you want to find out the D you have the 2.5 and this is the right angle triangle you need the uh, pr question mark 
If I know the PR, that's it. We can do the question. If you know the PR, by squaring the PR, Pythagoras theorem, 2.5 square, you can find the D, which is PT. So, now we don't know what is PR. So, if you want to find the PR, you need to find out the length of QR. If I know the QR, the base, there is a right angle triangle, use the Pythagoras theorem, you can find the PR. So, what is QR? So, QR is the opposite side of the 6. And 2.5 is the, op oh sorry, uh, it's my bad. It's not opposite side, it's the adjacent, right? So, QR is the adjacent side. And 6 degree, this is opposite side. So, O and A related to tan. So, tan 6 degree, tan 6 degree equal, opposite is 2.5 over QR. So, if I cross multiply, so this over 1, so QR times tan 6 equal 2.5. So, QR, we can say 2.5 over tan 6 and that is the answer for qr so i'm going to use the calculator quickly um, um, 2.5 on the top tan 6 tan 6 23.75 23.7859 right so qr is known so now i'm going to be drawing a a, a triangle to make sure we understood this one um, let's mark the diagram so the triangle is pqr that is the base. So that is the right angle triangle. That is 3.8 and QR is 23.7859. That is stored under my calculator's answer button. Now I can find out the PR. So PR squared equal 3.8 squared plus answer squared. Then PR equal square root of 3.8 square plus answer square. So PR equal. So we can use the calculator. Don't close the calculator, but calculator. Remember the last step answer in the answer button memory. So we can use that facility. So square root of 3.8 square and 3.8 square plus answer square. Uh, equal so 24.0875 that is PR so now we are coming back to the actual question itself so so this is the let me do it here this is the triangle of Make sure you label the triangle to make sure the examiner understand which triangle you are drawing. So this is the PTR triangle. I mark this as a D. That is in the question. And this is 2.5. And PR, we just found out to 24.0875. And that is the right angle triangle. And D is in the question. So D, you can do a, our friend Pythagoras theorem 2.5 squared plus 24.0875 the good thing about calculator the last step answer 24.08 this is going to be in my answer button so use the calculator confidently that 24.0875 is in the answer button so make it zero square uh, square root of 2.5 2 square plus 24.0875 square. 
So that is equal to 24.216 and what they are asking actually um, Calculate the length of the diagonal PT. This they didn't say anything. So I'm going to say 24.22 for two decimal places So 24.22 for 2 BP decimal point So that is the answer for PT equal 24.22 Question number seven Square base pyramid shown in the diagram calculate the angle between the HBA So let me draw that one otherwise we is as I said it's a visualization part is the hardest part VA so VA is the line here and ABCD is the bottom base right so bottom base means from the V we need to drop a perpendicular line that is the diagonal intersection point which is the midpoint of AC and that is the right angle triangle right square base pyramid and uh, angle between the VA and the bottom base so this is the theta right as so a now this is 15 and this is 15 centimeter and this is right angle triangle right so AC squared AC squared equal 15 squared plus 15 squared AC equal square root of 225 plus 225 is 450 so square root of 450 so AC equals square root of 450 so if I put this is M so AM equal square root of 450 divided by 2 so that is the a am now the problem is how to find out the um the perpendicular height do we need the perpendicular height we don't need the perpendicular height we can use the information given now so let me draw a, a triangle and just to finish this question um I'm just having difficulty to draw a triangle right okay Hello. yeah that's done so just use the blue pen right now if i mark this as a am so, uh, a m and v that is the right angle triangle am is the one i found now as uh, 450 uh, over 2 half of the diagonal intersection so this part is equal to this part ac answer divided by uh, 2 is the am we've done that and the vm we don't want to so 20 centimeter is this and this is the angle theta so theta this is 90 degrees is going to be this is going to be hypotenuse and this is going to be adjacent adjacent and hypotenuse are car cosine cos theta equal root 450 over 2 um, over 20 so basically this part is the answer from the calculator if, if you're not sure about this state fade in the calculator all you can do is open the calculator right make AC and press the answer and equal that gives the 24 is it coming 24 I'm not too sure right maybe it's a previous question answer let me do this one quickly so square root of um, 225 uh, plus 225 and uh, that answer is 15 root 2 so 15 root 2 is that answer divided by 2 and the answer is now 15 root 2 over 2 so make it 0 so that is this answer 15 root 2 over 2 which is the answer now so now if you have any doubt press the answer and equal the 50 root 2 over 2 will come right now we can say theta cos inverse shift cos inverse of fraction button answer divided by 20 and 
the close brackets and equal 57.97 but nearest degree or something um, so 57.97 that is the angle so theta equal cos inverse of that so t t theta equal 50 7.97 i'm not too sure i will check it again one more time uh open the calculator 57.97 that's correct so that is our answer for the question number seven that is the last question i believe let's move on yes that the last slide of the tutorial and i hope you have understand how to find out the angle between a plane and a line a line and a line and how to apply the Pythagoras theorem in a three-dimensional figure and uh, especially the angle between the plane and line is the uh, frequent question in the exam style um, in the level 9 questions um, if you do like our video and the explanation of this 3D trigonometry please give us a thumbs up um, below and subscribe to our channel to watch all our um, videos if you want to download the tutorial um, need to print out in a pdf format please follow the description under and follow the link thank you so much for the time